Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. I'm a fantasy author and a skateboarder, and today we're taking a trip back in time. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back everybody. So, I'm sure a lot of you remember that uh, back at the start of all of these skate uploads, I did this Skate Your Age challenge where I tried to do a trick for every year that I was old. Well, that got me thinking that I wanted to try something a bit similar. But instead of this time, rather than skating my age, I was going to try and skate my birth year. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm a bit of a skate historian. I, uh, I really enjoy looking into all the history of the sport and how it's progressed over the years. So, naturally, I, I have tended to gravitate towards a lot of, uh, a lot of the, the mid-80s skateboarding. So, with that in mind, we're going to take a look back at what skateboarding was like in the year 1986, and then I'm going to try my best to emulate it. Enjoy! Ah, 1986. It was the year that Dag Nasty released their debut album, Can I Say? It was also the year that the real Ghostbusters cartoon premiered on Saturday morning television. At the same time, Nintendo released a little-known game called The Legend of Zelda. And of course, in 1986, yours truly came into the world. On the skateboarding front, 1986 showed that Vert was very much still king, but it was on its way to being dethroned. Lots of the magazine coverage was now shifting away from vert and freestyle and starting to look at the nascent street skating that had gradually been progressing over the last couple of years. In fact, the March 1986 issue of Thrasher had a cover image of Natus Coppice doing a Bertelman off a car, whereas the August issue would show then-unknown Mike Vallely doing a ho-ho plant on his cover. There wasn't much to say for skate videos in 1986, except that the crews over at Powell Peralta and Santa Cruz were in the midst of filming what would wind up being two of the most influential films of that decade, respectively The Search for Animal Chin and Wheels of Fire. I decided I wanted to take an opportunity to try and emulate skating in 1986, so let's see how that went. I, uh, I'm not going to lie, getting used to the, the larger board was a bit of a challenge at first, 
uh, but once I kind of got into the flow of things, I actually really surprised myself with a lot of that. Uh, the invert I have not done for ages, and I am so stoked that I landed it. Uh, plus, this gave me a really good uh, excuse to work on my freestyle a little bit more. Uh, all in all, I mean, skateboarding is skateboarding. You can go out and do whatever you want. But if you've never tried any of uh, any of what was in vogue back when I was first born, uh, go give it a try because honestly, it's just it's so much fun. Uh, before I go, there's a couple things that I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, next weekend is the Skate for Sick Kids. Uh, so if you are in Toronto on June 1st, uh, come on out. It uh, it starts at the Skate Loft. Uh, it makes its way down to Ashbridge's Bay and then finishes over at Dunbat Skate Park. Uh, I'm of course going to be there. Uh, if if you haven't already, you can go to bit.ly forward slash Brandon Skates for Sick Kids. Uh, that link is going to be in the description below where you can uh, read a little bit about why I'm doing it and uh, maybe donate if you feel so inclined. Uh, even if you can't, just you know, have a read and, and maybe share the page out. That helps immensely. Um, if uh, you are looking for clothing, as always, uh, I recommend checking out Fuel. They just dropped a huge summer line. They're constantly releasing new stuff for the season, and each new piece is just better and better. Um, if, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know uh, what you thought of it. Uh, if you want to do your own Skate Your Birth Year Challenge, uh, post it on, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, and then hit me up. I'm at Brandon Draga on all of those things, and I'm always excited to, to interact with people. Uh, so, you know, give me a shout. Uh, if, uh, finally, if, if you're, you're looking for books to read, as always, you can go to, uh, to my website brandondraga.com and uh, check me out there. Well, that's going to do it for this week. So, until next time, keep skating hard.